Alex the Lion, Paga Lion, first of all, how are you? Good, Carl. I'm really, really good. I'm excited. You've been playing a lot of pool recently, right? Yes, I've been playing a lot of pool and uh, I've been working on my game, my health, uh, all the whole nine yards I've been working So on. there's life in the old dog yet? Yeah, 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 <laughs> it is. Uh, yeah, I'm also pretty happy and uh, I'm feeling really well physically and mentally. So, Do you know how many World Nine Ball Championships you've played in? Uh, I don't know, I'm just asking you. I have no idea. Is it over 20? No. Uh, since 99, I miss a few of them. Maybe, I would say 18, maybe 18. 18, 2004 yeah. champion? Yeah, 18, yeah. Maybe 17, I'm not really sure. Sorry, so bro. We're going near 20, yeah. right? <laughs> 2004 champion. Yeah. Do you still remember? that tournament everything about it or have you forgot some bits i remember every single every bit of it every ball yeah uh, well not every <laughs> ball well against uh fung pang chow quarter final that last rock i can literally still vivid to my memories that uh i remember every shot so Obviously that last you, game, the quarterfinal. You remember running around the arena, right? Yes, I remember all that. I remember hugging the referee, kissing the referee. So. What was he called? <laughs> <laughs> that one I forgot. <laughs> Listen, um, I wasn't playing American Pool then, but I used to watch it quite a bit. And I remember you losing in the final and then coming back the next year to win. I thought that was uh, unbelievable. Yeah, um, I was, uh, you know, I, I was thinking... How, how should I say it? Young, dumb, and... Uh, yeah, we'll leave it at that. <laughs> yeah. yeah and, I'm full uh, of confidence. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I was like, uh, I was too excited, and uh, I got a bit too much to drink that night before. I should have never done it, I know. But also, uh, Thorsten played really well that Oh, final. you was drunk the night before. Yeah. Well, That's not well, advisable, I, No, right? no, no, no. I... I Definitely would recommend that to any upcoming player. Uh, and then the very next year, I literally just went on the, uh, basically the treadmill and no sugar, no nothing, uh, no alcohol, no coffee, no nothing. I just wanted to like, it hurt so bad that Thorsten beat me. So he probably like, uh, the responsible me going next year to become the full me, you know what I mean? The full version of me and uh, I, I'm very uh, fortunate enough that I win the 2004 uh, World Championship. So now you're back, you're training, you're looking lean. Well, You've I'm, always been lean, but yeah. you're looking... Uh, right now I took care of my health uh, for, for the last year and a half. I would say one year for sure. I've been eating healthy and uh, I've been doing a lot of walking. Yeah. Derby City Classic was just last week. You had a very good run there. You went deep in a lot of the tournaments. You looked to be playing very well. Obviously, that was a grind. Yeah. Tell us about your week. At Derby. Oh, that week is uh, fantastic for me. Um, uh, at my age and uh, the amount of pool I played, I didn't play. Uh, well, I did play a lot, but not competition in the Philippines. I, I hit a lot of balls, but I didn't didn't really compete. And then I went to the Derby. Um, I was very happy to uh, from the way I performed that week, and I was so close to win the whole round. But the better player got the best of me, so uh, he played really good. And uh, uh, Pedro Gores, congrats to him! And uh, uh, here we go, the World Pool Championship. You know, when you was younger, growing up, do you feel like the standard is? Is more strength in depth now with younger players, or back when you was a younger man? Well, I should I wouldn't say the standard got higher. I think it's just more players this year. I mean, this era. But the the way we play back in the day, uh, I think it's hard because it, it's hard to really compare apple and orange. You know what I mean? So we play the best we could in our era and. The player these days, they're also doing the same thing. But because we learn from each other, you know what I mean? So, like, if the player now go back to 20 years ago, we're all going to learn from each other. So I think the competition is going to be the same. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Before you go and play your match and hit some balls and practice, a quick word about 
your brand that's coming out? Yes, uh, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> um, I just launched my new uh, Pagline brand. It's about apparel, clothes, hats. I'm also going to launch, uh, I'm making my own cues. Uh, I'm also going to do a lot of uh, video. I'm going to do voiceover to a lot of shots that I played. Okay. And you guys going to have to, you guys going to, into my mind, what was I thinking during that time? Why did I play that shots? Especially uh, the one pocket, uh, uh, one pocket uh, matches that I have. Oh, that sounds good. Listen, we yeah. know you got a match coming up soon. Round one of this year's World Handball Championships. Nearly 20 years since you win it. Yeah. Let's see if you can do it again, bro. Good luck. Yeah, uh, thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. Thank you for having me. Carl. All the best.